E aí pessoas, beleza? Estou aqui gravando mais um vídeo de Game of Thrones, uma série da Telltales E bora lá então, dar uma continuidade no capítulo 6 agora They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? Lead them yourself, uncle. When I was your age, I too was asked to lead men to save my house. But I failed. And we lost everything. This is your fight, Asher. Your family. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Well... This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Ponte Renas! You guy who no Josie put tag on Costotti Daor. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Yes, we'll find out. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Alguma coisa errada.
Prepara os corações. Um vaso quebrado, arrastado. O que aconteceu aqui, velho? Everything's still here. Uh, andou. Why would someone do this? Fala andou de novo. Que doideira. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Provavelmente foi aquele cara lá que que tava querendo vender os negócios e e o tiram quis mudar, né? Porque eu vi a proposta da Mira. Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the imp. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Should last through Lady Elena's visit at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord. You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is. If the two of you wanted to produce an heir, that was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant enough, Maester. When last we spoke of Elena, you seemed unsure how she might feel about you. You just have to show her that you're still the man she knew. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. You're making me nervous, Mother. Don't be. You'll do fine. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look... You really... Welcome to Ironrath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. I'm glad to see you up and about. How have you been, Elena? Oh, it's been quiet, I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? 
And please, be honest with me. I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I am. Um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? Trust me. They won't be here long. That wasn't an answer. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... I... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. And I was inclined to agree with him, until I received a curious letter from Marjorie Tyrell. What did it say? Lady Marjorie suggests in the kindest of terms that we go through with the marriage. And as you can imagine, a suggestion from a future queen is difficult to ignore. Do you know why Lady Marjorie would send this to me? She and I have never corresponded. Mira must have asked her to intervene. I didn't know your sister carried such influence. You act as if you had no part in this. I feel manipulated, Roderick. A house like mine can't refuse a suggestion from Marjorie Tyrell. I'm being forced to marry you, Roderick. Is that truly what you want? Would you do that to me? After everything we've shared? Of course not, Elena. You're free to choose. <sighs> Thank you. I was afraid you'd refuse to back down, but you must care about me more than that. Let us stand together, Roderick. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, he... So, the rumors are true. You have no right to just... And if it isn't Elena Glenmore. You're not still marrying into this wretched family. Our houses will be joined, in fact. And we will stand proudly beside them. Can I change your mind? You can do much better than this cripple. What do you want, Whitehill? What do I want? Ask your mother. She invited me here. That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral, but I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. What sort of a game are you playing, Whitehill? I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son Griff arrives from Harrenhal. But now, I hear you're ordering them around. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lud, enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Sure. Here's the idea. We're going to make a fresh start, you and I. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit. But you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral, show Lady Elena you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? I'm not kissing your ring. Do what you must. Fine. I'll just tell Ryan you didn't want to see him. No, please. And because of your defiance, I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Ramsay Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I 
harvest ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. As long as he gets his ironwood, he won't care. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Oh, by the way, my men have a name for you. Roderick the Ruined. <laughs> Isn't that clever? He's gonna make things difficult for both of us, isn't he? I'm glad you didn't let him humiliate you. You'd put your pride ahead of your family? What's poor Ryan going to think? That we've abandoned him? We can't afford to show weakness, Mother. It would have been a minor sacrifice. My lord, are you well? Seven fucking hours. E completamos então o capítulo 6. Mano, tá ficando tenso aqui a situação. Eu acho que eu escolhi bem até. Eu consegui convencer a, a menina pra ficar junto. Né? A Helena. E só que, né? Eu meio que caguei ali. E o Ryan não vai poder ir no funeral do, do irmão. Mas é meio complicado isso, mas pequenos sacrifícios, né? Que nem ela tinha comentado, tipo, ah, você devia ter se ajoelhado, blá, blá, blá. não. Foi uma boa escolha, eu acho. Vamos ver no que, que vai dar. Enfim, então, eu vou estar sendo o vídeo por aqui já. Então, pessoas, se vocês gostaram do vídeo, né? Cliquem em gostei dos seus favoritos, compartilhem suas redes sociais para ajudar na divulgação do canal C3 Tals. É, deixa o comentário abaixo também se der e se inscreva no canal também. Bom, então o próximo vídeo será o season finale, né, desse episódio 2. Eu, oh, vocês vão falar ali não, né? O capítulo final, no caso, né? Do episódio 2. Então, até a próxima. Falou! Oh,